with the tools that we have in our tool belt, right? We have every type of tool to be able to help you get there. And that's our job. Our job is not to be the hero. Our job is to be the guide. Our job is to guide them to success, guide them to lead more leads, more. Cool. So exactly what Danelle was saying there, right? It's like, you don't want to come from a position of selling somebody something, something, right? We're not a freaking car sales team. We're not, we're not selling freaking glasses. We're not selling, we're, we're not, that's not what it is. Okay. We're, we're, we are guides. We, at the end of the day, guys, we are guides, right? Like when we step in, I'm guiding you so that you can grow your business, you can get more profits, and you can you can you can feed your family, you can feed other families, you can you can you take vacation, you can go to the freaking Cancun where your freaking rooms right here and you're walking out and you have your own freaking private pool, right? Like we're we're giving you exactly what you want with the tools that we have in our tool belt, right? We have every type of tool tool to be able to help you get there. And that's our job. Our job is not to be the hero. Our job is to be the guide. Our job is to guide them to success, guide them to lead more leads, more sales, growing their company. And that's what most small business owners want, right? They want to grow. They want, they want more profits. They want a certain type of jobs. I know when I first started in SEO, when I was working with uh, a lot of smaller businesses, like you were hearing Bryce earlier, right? Mailbox money, um, you know, going after those 250 to $750 a month clients. When I first started working with those guys, one thing I realized is that a lot of them did kind of everything they would do. Like, let's say they really like doing drywall, but they also would do paint and they would do finishing and they do this and they do that. And when you'd get to talking to those guys, they were like, man, I don't want to do drywall anymore. It's horrible, horrible pay, a lot of work back breaking. I want to focus just on painting and you could help these guys focus down and get what they want and focus on the exact jobs they want, double their profits, grow their team and be happy. Cause that, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's us guiding small business owners on, you know, getting more leads, being happy, freeing up their time and living the life that they deserve, the life that they want. And that's what we're doing guys. So step one, when we were talking about that, we were talking about positioning. We were talking about the ways I like to reach out, right? I like to be positioned as an expert in the field or positioned and working with the right type of clients right up front, right? I don't like guessing that maybe they don't want to pay in marketing. Maybe they don't this or don't that. So a lot of times, guys, nowadays, I don't prospect somebody unless I know that they're paying top dollar for marketing, right? There's They're, they're paying four or $5,000 a month in marketing, whether that be, you know, radio advertisement. So if I'm listening to the radio and I hear I hear an ad come through. I'm calling those guys. I'm hitting them up. I'm shooting them screencasts. If I see billboards, you know, uh, things like that, I'm, I'm jumping in there. If I see a big magazine that's, you know, advertising in the back for some company, I'm hitting those guys up. If I see an ad on the news station, right? Because if you watch the, the evening news in your area, there's lots of companies that are big that are advertising right there on the news that aren't ranking SEO wise. They're not getting organic leads. They're paying for all these leads through news stations, Facebook ads, et cetera. And I'm hitting those guys up, right? So there's lots of ways. I, I know one way, one way I did one day, I, I spent a whole entire day with Danelle one time where we drove around town and I don't know how you guys' towns are, but we have a bus station. So we have bus stops and they have benches and on the back of benches, people were advertising on these benches and I knew they were running. It was like, I can't remember $300 a bench. And so I was like going around and I was like, okay, the top 10 companies with the most benches are the ones I'm going to reach out to. And I remember going around the entire day, counting up benches, counting up the people that were paying for advertisement on those benches and then reaching out and we reached out to the top 10 and we landed three of them. They're all $5,000 or more per month. Um, so uh, amazing opportunity all around you. You just got to look for it. You just...